What's up, everyone? Happy Friday. It's uh, a little overcast today. Over here in the Stephen McDonald Memorial, Westwood Park in Malvern. And uh, we got a little overcast morning, but it's about 42 degrees, so it's not too bad out. Uh, it's balmy compared to the uh, 30 degrees or whatever it was yesterday. So, uh, amazing what a difference 10 degrees makes in the way everything feels. So, um, today is Friday, and a busy day. Got a closing this afternoon. Um, one that uh, has been waiting for a while. Uh, had some building department issues we had to clear up, which is basically every single house I've sold these days for the building department. Um, something to think about if you guys are getting ready to sell your house, make sure all your stuff is in order because it will delay your closings. But, um, so we're here in the park, and uh, I'm going to talk today about are you offended? Do you look for things to be offended by? Um, do you look for um, offenses and everything and everything everyone does? Do you hold grudges against everybody? All right, we're back. Uh, are you find things, do you find things to be offended by? Um, it's really easy to go through life and pick apart what everyone does, what everyone says, and be offended. Uh, and then carry that around. And it clouds your judgment almost. When you're offended by everything around you and everything someone does, uh, you don't get to, I don't know, really see what's going on. You really, you're looking for problems rather than looking for solutions. Um, and that kind of steals your joy, it gives you extra burden to carry around, and gives you this filter that you see everything with that um, it holds you back, it holds things back. Um, when someone does something to you maybe 10 years ago, and you're offended, you get offended, and you carry that around and you don't forgive it, um, it affects your relationship going forward. Um, a lot of times in relationships of marriage, um, something may have happened in the past and every time there's an argument in that marriage it gets brought up and it gets well, beaten a dead horse um, you need to release stuff um, you need stuff that bothered you stuff that's happened in the past you need to release that you need to forgive you need to move on and you need to open your eyes up and open your arms up to uh, new opportunities to new things because if you carry around uh, this offense and you're offended by everything around you, um, it really clouds your judgment, it really clouds your judgment, it really keeps you from being happy. Um, so we need to learn to forgive, and we need to learn to forget. And that message goes along with the, where I am today, right here at Stephen McDonald Memorial Garden. So Stephen McDonald, New York City police officer who was shot at an early age, uh, early in his career, and was paralyzed and confined to a wheelchair. And um, let me see, my broadcast is in and out. Uh, let me move around a little bit. For some reason, I lose signal down here in this park. I'm not sure why. So, Stephen McDonald, New York City police officer, shot in the line of duty. And um, basically, he made his mission uh, to forgive his accuser and teach forgiveness and to love. Um, and that's the way we need to live. Right here is his plaque. Love is the way, is what Stephen uh, basically preached. Love is the way. So we need to love on people. We can't be offended by everything that people do. We can't be offended by everything around us. Um, love is the way. So stop looking for reasons to be offended and stop holding offenses against people. If someone did something, and a lot of times people did stuff and they don't even realize they did it, and you're holding a grudge against them, and you're staying offended by something they did 10 years ago, and it just always, always uh, holds you back. You can never move forward when you walk around offended. Um, again, I think this is a big one in marriage. Uh, husbands and wives carry stuff around that happened years ago when they were younger, when they were um, different people. At different points in their life, and uh, it's really important to uh, learn to forgive and learn to love, love unconditionally. Um, really, really important. 
So there's your message of the day. Don't walk around offended. Learn to love. Learn to forgive. Uh, everything will be better in your life when you stop looking to be offended by everything. Look to love everything. Look for the positive in everything. Look for the best in people. Encourage people be the, to be their best. If someone makes a mistake and does something, forgive them and move on. Uh, give them a new opportunity. Just keep loving on them. Because uh, being offended and holding grudges doesn't do anything other than hold you back. All right, so there's your message of the day. Uh, let's jump on prayers. This is the park here. Westwood Park, Steve McDonald Memorial. Beautiful spot. If you're in the Malvern area, come down here. Real peaceful spot. Usually there's a fountain there behind the bike. Obviously shut down for the winter. All right. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to not be offended. Help us to not look for offense in our lives, and help us to look for love in our lives. Help us to look for the positive, and help us to forgive, and help us to... Um, live our lives in the best way we can and help us to help all around us live their lives in the best way we can. Uh, <clears throat> encourage those around us and build our relationships and uh, remember to love. Love is the way. So, all right, everyone. Amen. Um, let's, uh, let's make the best of uh, every day going forward. Uh, I talk about it all the time. Put your head on the pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. And by doing that, it means loving on people. It means loving on the world. It means being a giver. And it means uh, forgiving and not getting offended by everything. Um, it's Friday. We've got a weekend coming up. Uh, what's today? The 10th. So uh, we've got, what, another roughly 12 days. We hit the winter solstice. And then the days will start getting longer again. And it'll be a little bit brighter here in the morning. And uh, Christmas is almost here. The end of the year is almost here. We've got to finish this year out strong. And we need to start planning for the future. 2022. Nice year with a lot of twos in it. So a whole my number of people, you can tell me what that means. Hopefully it means something good. But um, it's what you make of it. So get out there. Uh, be positive. Uh, be loving. Be forgiving. And uh, let's make the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Get out there and inspire someone to be better. While you're inspiring yourself to do the same. Right, everyone, God bless. Have a great day. And we'll see you soon.